In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a GDMU clone board in a Dreamcast. For this to work, make sure you are installing the GDMU in a VA1 model Dreamcast, which I'll point out to you once I have the case opened up. First, if there is a game inside of the Dreamcast, remove it. Flip the Dreamcast over and remove the modem or Ethernet adapter. Next, take your screwdriver and unscrew the four screws. Flip the Dreamcast upright and left up on the top part of the casing to remove. To know if your Dreamcast is a model VA1, notice the fan on the right side of the Dreamcast. It should look black like this. If it is any other color, then this is not a VA1 model Dreamcast, and the GDMU board should not be used. There are three more screws to remove here, one to the right, one on the left, and one to the rear of the GD-ROM drive. Now grab the entire GD-ROM drive module and gently pull it up. It may require a little wiggling back and forth to detach it from the rest of the system. On the GDMU unit, insert the standoff pegs that were included with the board into the three holes. Now take the GDMU unit and insert it where the GDROM drive was taken out. Align the white connector and press down on the board to make a solid connection. Reattach the top part of the Dreamcast case back into place and carefully flip the unit upside down. Screw the four screws into the case that were removed earlier. Reattach the modem or Ethernet adapter and flip the Dreamcast back around. Now your Dreamcast is ready to play games off the GDMU SD card. <laughs> 